What's crack a Blazers? I'm Hamish. I'm Josh. And we're your fantastic hosts. Welcome to this week's episode of Blazer News. Well, as you can see, we're here with our new Bell 2.0. Some of our crew and community members don't think that without our third host person here, we can act with the most respect and dignity. Me and my fellow hostmen here shall act in accordance with the professionalism. Thank you. Please stand for our national anthem. Please be seated. Hello from Student Services. We've decided to move things around again just to mess you up. Volunteer sheets and where to volunteer are now inside our office on the wall directly across from Joe's desk. Everything to do with scholarships and bursaries is outside of our office on the big board to the left of our window. Read this information. It could help you save money when going to college or university. And now the good thing is university and college booklets OYAP and SHSM information haven't been moved. You can still find it in the bookcases in front of Student Services. Monday, September 30th is Orange Shirt Day, the National Day of Truth and Reconciliation. Please wear an orange shirt in remembrance of the Canadian residential school system and the impact of the government policy on First Nations people, their families, and communities. But maybe you're saying, Hamish, I want to I wanna support, I want to do the best I can, but I don't have an orange shirt, and I'm not in a, not in a place where I can go get one right now. We've got, a, we've got an amazing solution for you, the Blazer Boutique. Any of the clothes racks throughout the building are free to all students. Happy shopping, Blazers. Enjoy the shoes, pants, shirts, and free fashion at the Blazer Boutique. And if you're looking for a specific item of clothing, come talk to Bonnie or Alicia. They've got something for everyone, even you. I see you, little Carl, sitting in the back row. You're missing something. We've got something for you. Good luck to all our Blazers playing soccer for the Special Olympics Tournament today. We're all cheering you on. Go Blazers! Speaking of sports, a shout out to our Bay Ridge golfers who played through some drizzly weather in good spirits at CASA at Loyalist Golf and Country Club on Wednesday. Thanks to Keenan, Matt, Torin, Zach, Calvin, and Nate for a great season. Now it's time for... Council Announcer! If you have some change to spare today, please consider donating it to the Terry Fox Foundation in front of the main office. You can also donate online at the terryfox.ca website. Giant Tiger is donating $500 in the name of BSS. Let's try to surpass that. We will be going out to the track today at 10.50 to walk two laps in memory of Terry. This is a great time to reflect upon Terry's determination in order to fundraise for the fight against childhood cancer. Please consider donating if you have any spare change. Starting October 1st, Home Form Food Drive Challenges begin. So be ready to make a change. Bring food items to your period one class and grade reps will come collect them. Join us for the community food drive on October 9th. Volunteers will go door to door collecting non-perishable food items. We need students and drivers. Details will be given out in Home Forms on Tuesday, October 1st. 
for the Jelly Bean Challenge. Bring in food items and a ballot to guess the number of jelly beans in the jar. The closest guess wins the whole jar of jelly beans. Remember to get your fall-themed photos into bssphotogallery at gmail.com by October 21st. The best fall photo voted on by the school wins a jar of candy. Thanks for joining us on... Council Announcer. Now we turn it over to our roving reporter, Sam Smith. I interviewed a bunch of people around the school about how if they get nervous around picture day and if they could do a pose, what would it be? I do get nervous around picture day and the pose that I would do is this. No, I don't get nervous. If I could pose, I would do this. No, because I look fly. No, because I look tough. If we were to do a pose, we would do this. That's awesome. And do we get nervous around picture day? Not really. And if we could do a pose, we would do this. Back to you, Blazer News. Thank you, Sam Smith, for that amazing, cool, awesome, and fresh pose, while still maintaining composure and respect. This week's culinary crew is offering a delicious garden harvest salad with poppy seed dressing, beef stew, cheesy biscuits, and cinnamon roll cookies? Come on down to the kitchen, get your hot lunch, it'll be delicious, Blazers. Wondering if the heat is going to continue into the weekend? Don't worry, the weather team has got you covered. Game. Hello, Blazers. My name is Sammy. Uh, You're gonna do the? Weather forecast. What's the first day? Certain days. What's the weather like? Cold. And Cloudy. Sunny. Cloudy. 20 degrees. Perfect. The next day? Certain day. Sunday. Sunday. Cold. Cloudy. And Cloudy. And 20 degrees. Good. What should our Blazers do this weekend? Sit at home. Sit at home. Sleep. Sleep. And what outside? Play. Play. Soccer. Great. Back to? Blazers. Thanks for that, Sammy. Before we end the episode, we have a special announcement exclusively for the Grade 9 Blazers. Do you remember what is happening on October 4th? Fortunately for you, the Connection crew has a reminder with an update. Next Friday, October 4th, is the Grade 9 Movie Night, and the film that is being shown is, drumroll please, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Grade 9 Blazers are reminded that attending the movie is free, while snacks and drinks are a dollar each. The Connection Crew hopes to see you there. Well, I bring your attention here, fellow academics. We bring to an end another sophisticated, yet satisfactory viewing of this Bangled Blazer broadcast. My fellow Blazers, this has been... Blazers. Blazers.